the British countryside. Beautiful and idyllic. But so much of our treasured landscape depends on some tiny creatures. Pollinators. The creatures that fertilize our food crops and our wildflowers. While honeybees are famous and well recognized, they are just a small part of a much bigger picture. We only have one variety of honeybee, but there are 24 species of bumblebee, and a multitude of wasps, hoverflies, and other insects. But of all these, the most effective pollinators are our native wild bees. However, most of these are in decline, and several are actively endangered. So what's causing this decline? Habitat loss. Bees don't need much, just a place to call home and somewhere to forage. Places like hedgerows, wildflower meadows, and community green spaces make great places for bees to live. But sadly, many of these have been removed. Hedgerows pulled up. Meadows replaced by pristine lawns. Pesticides. Neonicotinoid insecticides and other pest control chemicals negatively affect all wild and domestic bees. Climate change. Studies suggest this is squeezing many species further north unnaturally, disrupting local ecosystems faster than they can recover. Mites and viruses. These can affect whole colonies. So what can you do? You can start by signing our promise to plant pollinator-friendly flowers. If you don't have a garden, a pot will do. Buy or make your own bee hotel. Don't use pesticides at home. Leave your moor in the shed and let some of your lawn grow long for wildflowers. Encourage your council to do more for pollinators. Ask your school to create pollinator-friendly places. And there's one final way you can make a difference. By switching your mobile provider. Ecotalk. The new mobile service from green energy company Ecotricity will buy land and give it back to nature, managing it for pollinators. Like our friends, the bees. Together, we can put the bee back into Britain.